Guys, welcome back to Gary Morgan Art, and today I'm going to take you through my sketch to finished line art process. It's going to be a quick video, just me explaining how I go about designing a character and taking it from a sketch to a more refined line art. Okay, so I started off with a sketch that I did roughly on my iPad Pro. I had like this Chinese char female character in mind with... Uh, like sharp hair, she was kind of in the military type thing. I had that that idea in mind when I started this character. So I did a rough sketch uh, with a body in perspective, and then I took it into Procreate. Uh, I took it out to Procreate into Photoshop, and I just began stripping it back a bit because it was looking a bit rough around the edges. I started from a new base, and then I start eventually starting to clean it up a bit more. So you'll see here that I'm messing with the shapes a little bit and I'm not I'm ha not happy with something. So I've erased off the hair because it was looking dead. Give myself a skull to work from and then a, a base for the body, etc. to work from in terms of... Uh, like it's a good and nice clean base for me to work from to d develop these designs that I've researched through like Pinterest and uh, Google Images. So just find references of like army, clothing, combat trousers, police vests, uh, and this character is specifically meant to be living in like the world of Valorant. It's not a perfect style match, but that that's where my head was when I was starting drawing this. So right now I'm just refining in the line art for the abdomen. To give it, th this is like I said, a nice base for me to work from. Yeah, I'm gonna just plot in like a nice chunky belt because I noticed that I don't put, tend to push the shapes far enough when I am sketching I tend to keep them quite realistic which can be my downfall sometimes that the shapes don't look as interesting as they could be so here like I said I just I'm plotting in a base for a chunky belt <laughs> yep so I'm keeping in mind my perspective I'm looking up on this belt a little bit so obviously I'm going to see the bottom plane of the belt so a good way to imagine this is if it's a cube that's been squished and then stretched out and then wrapping around the form of a body, how would that look? Regardless of the the type of material, it would kind of still wrap the same way. It would still kind of wrap the same way. So here now I'm just starting to refine some of the details on the police vest. So you notice the pouches that I've got on her right hand side at the moment, they are drawn basically as boxes in perspective leading to a completely different vanishing point, separated from my horizon line for the character and then I just make sure to maintain the height difference etc as it's going back in space towards the vanishing point. So you've got to make sure that there's cohesion between those shapes. Okay, so as you just as you just seen now, I'm kind of plotting in some trousers, some combat trousers, a little bit thinner this time, as I kind of wanted the waist to be the more chunkier area of this design. However, I do add like some pockets and stuff, which adds a nice variation and flair to the bottom half of this character. Because right now the top half is looking quite big because of the police vest, and the bottom half, if I wanted to taper into a triangle then I really need to make the bottom half stand out more, make it bigger. The same for these boots, I'm using the references from Pinterest and Google Images. I'm just finding boots that I like the look of and kind of just drawing them on. And sometimes just making it up. When it comes to shapes, this is where style really comes in. So like the, the variety and how you choose to stylize the clothes. So you basically, even if you find reference, you do push the shapes of the reference to match your particular style choice. So I, I'm not even doing this consciously at this point because this was just like an idea that I had and I'm just sketching it through right now. This wasn't even going to be a video, this is just me playing around. So right now I'm adding the pocket I mentioned before, refining the face, cleaning up the face because was, she was looking a bit demented but that's because this is all part of the process. You kind of just, I've stripped it back so I can start again. I've added, I, I'll start adding eye makeup, I'll start adding hair, I'll give her accessories etc. Um, so now I'm just refining the boot, making sure that everything's staying in perspective, the lines make sense when they're wrapping around the form, 
making sure that things that are above the horizon line you'll see the bottom plane depending on the way it's tilted obviously and things that are below the horizon line you'll see the top plane i think in this case the the, the horizon line's kind of at the mid midway point between these two belts so you would see a little bit at the top of the lower belt and you'd see it at the end of it of the upper belt and this is due to the fact that they are both tilted as well so like you you would see a little bit at the underneath of the belt and the top of the belt because they one's looping downwards and one's pushing upwards so you i'm kind of just trying to get the head to be the correct shape so i flattened it down turned it into a block giving it a, a correct perspective because that was what was bothering me in the original it was kind of stiff and the perspective was a little bit off so now i've just gone through i fixed all that and i'm refining the the trousers a little bit more like i said before the shapes weren't pushed enough for me in the bottom half and they're probably still not realistically this line art phase is uh usually quite quick for me and i tend to push the shapes even further after this point so this doesn't always have to this isn't my be all end all this is just a starting point for me and then the painting will change everything afterwards okay so i'm pl plotting in the hair i tend i wanted to keep these more like trapezoidal triangle shapes to make it, her head seem sharp because the features of the face were sharp anyway so the eyelids were sharp the jawbone was sharp the lips are sharp and the cheeks are like high and come down to a point real quickly eyebrows sharp and then i wanted some flow so imagine these like c shapes that are also sharp as well and curl towards and away from the face to add some like flow to it to this character so now i'm just plotting in some eyebrows cleaning up the lines that i've placed down previously obviously if you're struggling with details make sure to find the reference for the particular character design you are going for in so your universe to so say you're doing fantasy make sure to look at the nice nice references for wizards so if you don't want to do a generic character like gandalf look up different type of stuff for your reference you can even use like x-men so like gambit etc like that so you really want to do your research when you're developing your characters and i've noticed so the, the belt thing there for example i've noticed that they use nice chunky belts with like uh triangular loops and this also helps me include some of the triangular shapes from the head in the belt and the triangular shapes that are in the trousers into the belt so um my predominant shapes here are probably like triangles and squares and not there's no circles at all in this so she's strong and sharp and aggressive is the vibe i'm getting from this character okay so as i've said before this is just all detailing so you just refine them what you've already drawn making sure to pay close attention to your reference or if you're not using any reference like i'm not for the majority of this piece just obviously just have fun with it just try and make the design as interesting as possible push your shapes as much as you can before they look ridiculous and obviously if you're trying to stay cohesive to a particular art style such as mine here would be to like valorant obviously you want to hold it to the point that's not too far pushed in the right style area just refining the sheriff that she's holding now and I'm using a reference for this that I found on Google for the sheriff from Valorant here. Okay, I was just having a little bit, a uh, little bit of problems where that was positioned in her hand because it didn't look realistic, and it still doesn't. Even, even now, it doesn't look right, and I do plan on fixing that later, a later date. So I'm refining her collarbones, just adding in fingers, refining the line up. This is really just a case of fixing past mistakes throughout my drawing nobody's drawing can be perfect every single time it does happen and if you practice your line art and your anatomy and your perspective all the time then you won't make as many uh, many mistakes as i do but this is all part of my process this is how i like to work when i do do, do use line art sometimes i'll just go straight from sketch quick line art and then i'll start painting immediately i don't usually go this in detail with my line art
Thank you guys for watching. If you enjoyed the video, please hit the like button, leave a comment. And if you want to see more videos, please hit the subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I post future content.